dear students today we will discuss about the deep sea fishes i would like to mention here what are the basic characteristics of deep sea when we talk about the deep sea the region of the sea below 200 meters depth is usually referred to as the deep sea the deep sea shows the following characteristics total darkness very important point there is no light at the bottom of the sea high pressure low temperature no food is there very less amount of food scarce to food no movement of water i am going to mention some of the very important examples of deep sea fishes kiasmodon niger is a great swallower you can see one of the deep sea fish again uriferins palenoides also called as gulper one more fish malacostius indicus wide mouth you can see the mouth then the sacopharynx ampullaceus also called as gulper fish now these are the certain examples of uh, deep sea fishes what are the adaptations of deep sea fishes the deep sea fishes show many peculiar adaptations they may be the deep sea animals including fishes are subjected to an ecological principle known as finmans principle according to this principle if a biotop is one sided and specialized it will have fewer species but introduced with many peculiar characters true to this principle many deep sea fishes show a number of peculiar adaptations what may be suppose when we talk about the adaptation of deep sea fishes very important point the predatory predatory habit deep sea system is away from the reach of sun rays and the deep sea are environment is pitch dark the absence of light prevent the growth of plants and photosynthetic organism so deep sea animals feed on other animals and are carnivores in habit we can see the example of gastrostomias second point when we talk about the scavengering scavengers habit feeding most of the deep sea animals feed on the bodies of the surface forms that sink on the bottom some even feed food on the escheta on the surface of water animals at as low temperature prevails in the deep sea decomposition of bodies falling from above is retarded and the deep sea animals enjoy an almost fresh diet one more example is the large mouth and distensible stomach i had mentioned one of the fishes of large mouth deep sea animals are required and well equipped with large mouth wide buccal cavity well done with dentition and distensible stomach these fishes help the deep sea animals to swallow prey larger than themselves i can give the example i had mentioned the one of the fish the kiasmodon niger great swallower they have a mouth wide mouth one more i have mentioned here, the weak endoskeleton one the predator habit the scavengers large mouth now the now we come to the weak endoskeleton in deep sea animals the endoskeleton is fragile weak light and flexible this is due to the uncalcified and weakly calcified skeletal system this is caused by the low temperature prevailing in the deep sea chimera you all might have heard about the chimera as a king of herrings now a small body size how it helps as deep sea adaptation a small body size is almost an universal character of deep sea animals although gigantic forms have also been recorded then the a lateral line system how how it helps lateral system is well developed in all deep sea fishes the sense organs enable the deep sea animals to live successfully in the lightless environment in spite of the excess of eyes now again we can say uh, as i have mentioned lateral system now the musiferous system what it shows the musiferous system of many deep sea fishes is developed in an extraordinary degree they have the ability 
to secrete large amount of mucus. The whole body is covered with a layer of mucus. Example, we can see one of the example is mercury. The exact physiological use of the secretion is unknown, but it has been observed to have photo photophosphorescent properties. What about the eyes? What kind of eyes are there in deep sea fishes? The eyes of deep sea animals are well developed, even though they live in an environment of constant darkness. In the fish, gonostoma denude data, the eye is so large that it occupies nearly two thirds of the length of the skull. Now, the what kind of sensory organs? In deep sea animals, sense organs like antennae are well developed to compensate for the absence of eyes. In deep sea fishes, fingers are considerably elongated. Then the hydroesthetic pressure, I am talking one by one, we are very important adaptation. The hydroesthetic pressure in the deep sea increases by one atmosphere, one atmosphere for every 10 meter depth. What about the swim bladder? A swim bladder is lacking in many deep sea fishes. This is to escape the high stress of pressure. That may be experienced as depth increases. Now the sexual adaptations, what kind of sexual adaptations are there? In deep sea, it is difficult to get a mate because the absence of light and thin population. Hence, in some cases, the male is found attached to the body of the female. What about the coloration? Coloration is also very important point of deep sea fishes. Deep sea animals have a riot of colors. Red color seems to predominate over others. In addition, dark, violet, black and brown are also quite common. Deep sea foraminifers are known for their dark reddish and violet coloration. What to understand? The red color is dominant. Starfishes, crustaceans and hydropolis are red in color. Many copepods are dark violet. Now, the bioluminescence when Overall, there is dark at the bottom of the sea. How bioluminescence helps the deep sea fishes? Living light is a remarkable feature of deep sea animals. The living light is blue or green in color. It is commonly called cold light because it does not produce heat. The light may be emanated in three ways, namely intracellular production, extracellular production and bacterial action. The light producing organs in fishes are called photophores. The photophores are located in some regions of the body or all over the body. Bioluminescence is common among fishes, crustaceans, cephalopores, plantrids, starfishes, and animals. Photobrepharon has a light organ under the eyes. The lantern fish, Linophryne, has fended, studded with luminescent organs. One of the very important fish, gastrostomias, has two long tail rows of photoreceptors. So, these are the certain characteristics of the deep sea adaptations. I hope you all uh, must have learned many important topics, many important aspects of the deep sea fishes. Once again, thank you, thank you very much.